Sustainable Groundwater Management or Sugam project was initiated in the year 2011 in two districts of Telangana and Andhra Pradesh states. The project is implemented by Center for World Solidarity or CWS, a voluntary organization based at Hyderabad with three local partner NGOs, namely Jana Jagruti, Crops and RIDS. Sugam project operates in six gram panchayats, namely Waddi Cherala and Vanaparthi in Warangal district of Telangana state and Masaka Vankapalli, Maddivari Gondi, Kotanka and Pedda Matla Gondi in Anantapur district of Andhra Pradesh. The project is funded by European Union and co-financed by Bread for the World Germany. Anantpur is a drought-prone district with an annual average rainfall of 520 mm. Warangal district has an average annual rainfall of 994 mm. Sugam project covers 11 villages with 3,317 families and around 12,000 population. These project areas are predominantly rain-fed regions facing frequent drought, over-exploitation of groundwater and no efforts for recharge resulted in poor water yield and total drying of many of the open and bore wells. Drop in the water table reduced availability of water for drinking as well. Farmers have lost the source of water for life-saving irrigation for their crops. Sugam project has a holistic approach of sustainable water management addressing drinking water, sanitation and agricultural needs. Hence, the project focused on rejuvenation of depleted and defunct water sources on first priority. The methodology adapted was rainwater recharge directly to bore wells. This borewell recharge technique is uh, very much uh, suited to our project villages like uh, uh, Anandpur district and Varangal district. People are used to extract uh, groundwater mainly through borewells. Because of this, uh, groundwater is overly exploited and uh, uh, drought also caused uh, borewells to dry very frequently. People are going for drilling more number of borewells. But, uh, the success rate is very much less in these areas. So to address these issues, uh, Sugam project uh, wants to promote borewell, direct borewell recharge in these areas. According to baseline survey in 2011, 418 borewells were dry and defunct out of 1,151. Conventional method of rainwater conservation was storing rainwater in farm ponds, tank, check dams, trenches, etc. But here, a major portion of water gets evaporated and only 10 to 15 percent of it percolates to the groundwater. Hence, Sugam project adapted this innovative method of recharge directly to the bore wells, particularly those dried up or yielding less water. Input test is done to decide the suitability of the bore well for recharge. Water table is measured and 5000 liters of water is poured into the bore well from a tanker. Bore well that absorbs the constant inflow of water are suitable for recharge. If the water overflows from the bore well, it is decided not suitable for recharge. A percolation pit is created in a systematic way around the selected bore well. A pit of 10 feet by 10 feet by 10 feet is dug with the help of an excavator. Vertical slits of 2 mm width and around 50 mm length are created like this on the casing pipe from bottom up to 6 feet height. Cement concrete bed is put to the bottom of the casing pipe for stability. 
Then boulders of this size are filled up to 6 feet height. Next layer of small stones and pebbles is put for 1 foot height. If the bowl well is for drinking water purpose, wood charcoal is spread for 1 foot height to avoid microbial contaminants entering the groundwater. If the bowl well is for agriculture usage, charcoal is not necessary. Then spread HDPE mesh of good quality. It stops sand, leaves and other bigger particles entering the lower filter layers. Otherwise, the layers get blocked in a season resulting in inefficient percolation. Put a layer of coarse sand on the mesh for one foot height. This completes the filtering arrangement for the inflow rainwater. Then a short wall is built around the pit to avoid collapse of soil. It also enables water to stand till it gets percolated. Rainwater flow is diverted to this recharge structure from surrounding area. Water entering this pit gets filtered through these layers. Clean water enters the bore well through the slits created on the casing pipe. Thus, rainwater is recharged directly to the underground aquifers. This system percolates water very fast and there is no chance for evaporation. Construction of this recharge structure costs around 30,000 rupees. To maintain the efficiency of percolation, replace the sand layer with new sand once in two to three years. In the initial survey, uh, we came to know that all the sources of drinking water are depleted. RIDS and CWS thought to recharge those depleted sources with an innovative bore well recharge technique. This was implemented on a large scale in the project village. Now the water supply is sufficient both for drinking and domestic purposes. During 2011-12, recharge structures were created for six drinking water bore wells. All those bore wells got rejuvenated in the very next rainy season. Encouraged by this result, so far 90 farmers of the project area got support from Sugam project for bore well recharge structures. The beneficiary farmer has to spend rupees 8,000 and the project provides rupees 22,000 for each structure. This recharge technique not only recharges this bore well, but also improves water yield in the bore wells up to 500 meters distance. Around 18 to 20 farmers in a village adapted this technique and got the benefit. After seeing the impact, around 30 other are coming forward to recharge their bore wells. In Kotanka village, defunct bore wells upstream of two drinking water sources are provided with recharge structures in December 2011. This has improved the water yield sufficient to supply to all households now. Overall, 255 dry bore wells got rejuvenated in the project villages in this method. This success story of rainwater recharge has spread across these two Telugu states. NGOs and government departments are visiting the project area for study. As recognition for Sugam project, Nabard has recommended this rainwater conservation method for financing the farmers through banks. Large number of farmers and many households of the cities are approaching the project for technical guidance for the construction of this rainwater conservation structure. Sugam project is making efforts to spread this technology further. 
It aims to mainstream the same through various government-supported water conservation programs.